up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Kyra J so for today's video I'm gonna show you guys how I highlight contour and set my face without getting any flashback so I know that highlighting contouring and most importantly setting your face without flashback is what a lot of girls struggle with myself included and I know I've been doing makeup for a while but I didn't get the hang of doing my face like flawlessly until this year to be quite honest with you until this year and you know you wouldn't know that looking at my like old pictures or whatever like my face would look good like in person you know on camera but bet I don't turn that flash on though bet I don't turn that flash on though and I mean I would have good days where my face did look good with flash but then I had some days where you know you could tell they looked a little patchy because of the setting powder so and my goal today is to show y'all how to get that flawless face without being scared of flash. We not we we moving forward from today, we're not scared of flash no more. Take a picture of me with flash on. I'm not scared because I know my face, I know my face flawless, okay? That's the kind of energy we finna have <laughs> after today's video, okay? Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so I did my brows off camera just so I can save some time and now it's time for our face. I do not typically wear primer, but that's because I always do my makeup just to take it right off because I do it for work, I do it for YouTube, I do it for Instagram, I never really do it to go out. Um, but for you, if you're going out somewhere, use some primer. So for today's video, I am going to put on some primer um, and I'm going to be using the Professional Primer by Benefit. And when I am using primer, I really just focus it um, where my pores are and like in my t-zone area because those are the areas that get oily and also because i like to just make sure that my pore you can't see my pores at all so the first step of making sure that you have an all-around flawless face is to make sure that your foundation is flawless and it is smooth and blended really well so for foundation i'm going to be using my revlon color say in the color mahogany and my Fenty Beauty in the color 430. I mix these two together because this one's just a little bit too orange for me and this one's too dark. And then to apply it, I'm using my Beauty Blender. And we're just going to apply it. And I'm just stippling and blending. And if you use a brush, you can obviously just like skip this step and just continue to use a brush. Just make sure that you are blending your face for the gods. That means no streaks, no smudges, make sure everything is flawless. Okay, so now that our foundation's on, we're going to move on to concealer. And I'm going to be using my Born This Way concealer in the color Chestnut. So I do suggest getting a concealer that's just a few shades lighter than your skin color. I think that they're a lot easier to blend, especially if you're a beginner or if you just like more natural looks. However, if you are dark skin or you have a richer complexion, you can still use light concealers and make them work for your skin color. Now, I'm not going to cover that today, but I promise to do a video on it because I live for a bright highlight. And I really learned how to make the light concealers work for my skin color so stay tuned for that but for today we're just gonna go with our regular concealer born this way and the color chestnut so now I'm just applying my concealer and notice I'm not going too far up I personally like to place my concealer like right here first so that it's not too creasy when I blend it and you can apply your concealer any kind of way you want this is just how, how I do I feel like for some people, the, how much concealer I use may be too much, so if you want to put less, you're more than welcome to. It's all about personal preference, but it's all going to turn out really, really well in the end, so it doesn't even matter. And I also like to put mine on my forehead. Don't know why, I just do. <laughs> and then the bridge of my nose. Okay, so I know that some people, they actually put on their um, their concealer and their contour at the same time. I personally don't do that just because I just don't. I don't know. I just feel like I like to do one thing at a time. I can, but I just choose not to. So what I like to do, I like to start by patting my concealer. See how it's starting to blend? 
I like to pat 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 upwards I always like to look up because I want to get I want to get all of this first blending all of this and just keep patting now I don't want to take my concealer too far so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um the bottom of my beauty blender so I'm going to take the bottom of my beauty blender and I'm just going to start dabbing the edges. This is going to keep my concealer from blending out too far and it's just going to make it blend seamlessly. And then I like to get in here just to make sure my concealer is blended all throughout here. That's it. And let's do it to the other side. So again, we're just dabbing. And it's really just about blending, you guys. When you blend, just dab, dab, dab until it starts to blend and get seamless. And I really hope I'm doing a good job of explaining. So now we're turning it on the other side again. And just blending out the edges because we don't want it to go out too far. And if it does, the cool part is you kind of still have foundation right here. So even if you do go out too far, it's kind of like blending it all in there so it doesn't even look like it. Blending in here, making sure it's all blended out. And then doing the same thing with chin. See how there's all these harsh edges? See that? Now we're gonna take the other end again and just dab until it's all blended. See? Blended. And then for my nose, there's no like special way to do it. I just kind of wipe it a little bit or I just kind of dab until it's blended. So, so a rule of thumb for me is if I can tell where my concealer starts, then it's not blended well enough. Like you shouldn't really be able to tell where it starts. It should just be kind of gradient. You shouldn't see any harsh lines or anything like that. So just check your makeup before moving forward. Really before setting, but okay so now on to contour i'm going to be using my ben nye cream foundation in the color cocoa bean is it cocoa bean coffee bean i really like this to contour just because i think that it makes my face so warm look at this color like look at this color it's so rich and pretty now you don't have to use like a cream foundation or anything you can really just use concealer to contour but this is just what i like to use and i just like to take my concealer brush once again like this and I just start putting in all the places that I want to contour now I don't go down too far because you still have to blend all of this and you don't want to look crazy with your contour blended like this you low-key gonna look like the Joker so <laughs> so um, I just kind of stop at a certain point well, like right here I think that's enough And I always like to get my jawline. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to blend it anyway. Now this is all optional, you guys. This is just how I do it. You don't have to do all these steps. My main goal is to show you guys how to do this flawlessly. My forehead. Got to get that big forehead. <laughs> And then my nose. Now the nose is tricky part. It took me a while to learn how to do this and be able to do it well. Nose. 
and it doesn't have to be perfect you guys because we're gonna all blend this out like this is so uneven kind of a little bit but like I said we're gonna blend this all out so to blend out my contour I'm gonna be taking my Morphe M178 I think this is the numbers are kind of smudged off but I think it's my M178 and we're just going to start blending in a circular motion so I like to blend my contour upwards and in a circular motion not downwards but upwards in circular motion Blend the while you're down. Don't want to blend too far. Just enough. And I like to blend it upward so that it's kind of blending into my con into my um, concealer a little bit. And then my jawline. There's no specific way to blend this. I just blend until it's blended. And then again, upwards in a circular motion and down. Ooh, my arms are tired. Dang, my arms are tired. <sighs> Take my left hand. Don't be lazy, Kyra. Okay. And then circular motions again, but it doesn't matter what direction this time. Like so. For my nose, I just use this small um, eyeshadow brush. I don't know where I got this. Like there's no name or anything on this. But I just use this to blend my nose and I just do a, a up and down blending motion. And if you close off like the highlight part right here, you can always just add more. That's just what I do. You just want to add just a tiny bit. Boop, boop. Ooh. Kind of just messed that up, but I'm going to show you how to fix it. <laughs> and I'm actually just going to take my finger and kind of just blend get that back in there. And then just blend the sides out with my fingers. Cool. Now you guys, we are on to the most important part of this whole operation. It's time for us to set our face. You've blended your face for the gods. Concealer, untraceable, contour, flawless. Now it's time to set it all. You ready for this? Are you ready? Now, I really want to use my Queen Cosmetics setting powder because I love this setting powder so much. I love the color. It just gives me a flawless finish every single time. But for the sake of the video, I do want to show you guys how I use a lighter setting powder and still get that flawless face. So, we're going to be using my Morphe setting powder in the color Banana Rich. Now, whenever you're setting your face, you want to make sure that you're not putting too much setting powder. So, listen, I'm not the kind of influencer who believes in baking. I feel like that has contributed a lot to my flashback and just me looking ashy. So, we're not, we not baking over here. We're not baking over here. We are literally just setting our face, okay? So I'm taking that same beauty blender again and I'm going to dab it in my setting powder. Now I'm going to dab off all the excess. You see all that excess? All of it. Get it off. Get it off because we don't need a lot. Dab it off. Dab it off. You're like, Kyra, what, what else is going to be left? Pay, just, just, just pay attention to me. Okay? Just listen. Okay? So we have that setting powder, right? This is more than enough and we are going to start pressing it into our skin or oh, maybe I should put more my bad y'all <laughs> I do like to dab some off but keep some on as well and what I'm doing is I am just pressing it into my skin 
That's it. We're just pressing it into our skin. See? Taking some more just off my hand. Taking a little bit more like this and press into our skin until you cannot see it anymore. Like we're pressing it all up in our skin. There's not gonna be a need for you to wipe it off. Just like that. I'm gonna wanna do it to the rest of my face and you guys should watch me do that. Okay, so I'm looking at myself right now and there's not much of a difference in color but that's because one, I didn't use a whole lot of setting powder and I pressed it into my skin. Now you will have those times where you do put too much setting powder on but literally you just keep pressing it in until you can't see it anymore and I'm going to show you guys how I do that. I'm going to act like I just put too much or just put like this much. Just keep pressing it in until it's all in your skin and you can't even see it anymore. Boom. So now it's time to set our contour and I'm gonna be using my Morphe Bronzer in the color Showmance. Not even gonna open this up because it's all cracked and it's gonna fall off. Whatever powder you wanna use, you just um, use that to set your face. And I'm taking this brush right here. I don't know what, I don't even know what this is called honestly, but I'm using it. <laughs> and you just want to sweep it onto the area that you contour. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it, but for those who are not, And then I'm taking that same small brush for my nose. And then I always like to just like blend it out with my fingers just to make sure that it's super blended. So I am going to complete the look with some uh, blush. This is in the color Very Berry by Maybelline. And I'm taking my Real Techniques brush in the color 400. Color 400. 400. Whatever. This is brush 400. <laughs> Now I do like to put on my setting spray before my highlight, so I'm just going to do that right now. And I'm using my uh, Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And I feel like setting spray, I don't always use it, but I definitely think that it does help with, you know, melting everything together so it does look really seamless. Okay. And then I take my Beauty Blender once again and I just dab the product in there. Make sure you're dabbing it in there, not just fanning it off or fanning it dry. And I like this um, setting spray a lot. It's only $16 and it lasted me a while. I've had this since January. 
And then just finishing this off with some highlights. And I personally just like to focus my highlight on my nose and my cupid's bow because whenever I use highlight on my cheeks, it just always looks really pat not patchy, but it just, I feel like my makeup looks cakey. So I like to center the highlight in the middle of my face. And I think this looks so much better. So I will be doing eyes with this look. So I'm just going to go do my eyes and then come back with the finished product. All right, you guys, so I'm back and my face is completely done. I am completely obsessed with this look but the true test is about to be if this is flashback test approved let's see so i have my camera right here and i'm gonna take a picture for you guys i'm gonna turn off one of these lights really quick because the flash with all these lights is just making my face look really bright so hold on this looks pretty flashback test approved to me so my camera will not pick up on my phone. It won't focus it enough. So I'm going to put the picture right here. And as you can see, it is flashback test approved. So that's it, you guys. That is how I do my flawless full face routine. I really hope that you guys learned something from this video. It's really not as hard as it seems. It just takes a little technique and practice. And like I said, I really hope you guys learned something. That is really my goal. Like I really want to help millions of you guys improve your makeup, learn how to do your makeup, feel confident doing your makeup. And if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe for me. And also turn on your notification bell so you never miss one of my new uploads I post every single week. And... Uh, yeah, you guys. Again, I hope that you love this video. I enjoy making it. And I will see you for the next beat. Bye.